I came across something really cool. Where are they at? Here they are. If I'm not mistaken here, those look like little baby morel mushrooms. I might be wrong, but it sure as heck looks like them. They're still too little to tell right now, but this is the place where they grow. Now, I accidentally mowed over some of them, but there is more. There's some right there. I'm hoping that's what they are. It looks like it, but let's see. Here's some here. There's something different, y'all. Please tell me so I don't eat something that's poisonous. But um, I've only seen morels when they're full, when they're full blown, ready to pick. So these are just little wee babies. But they're all over here, all in here because it's like a swamp type area over here. So I'm looking for more here. I did mow over some, unfortunately, which stinks, but here's, look at this cluster of them. And that's how they grow, so. I mean, it sure as heck looks like morels to me. What do y'all think? You guys see that? They definitely look like morels. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think in the, in the description box, and uh, so here in the next like week or so, when I get back from Florida, we should definitely be able to tell if they really are morels. So y'all tell me what you think in the description box. I'm excited if they are. Yay. Talk to you guys later. Hey guys. Well, so Daphne and I got home today from the park and I was really excited because I knew that my chicken coop would be here. I ordered a chicken coop because of the fact that the barn that my son and I were gonna go clean out has dry rotted on the whole bottom. There's millions of hornets nests and also a bird decided to make its nest in there. So can't be moving that around and all that stuff. So until after the eggs have hatched. So I decided to go on to PetSmart and order a chicken coop. I actually looked on eBay. I looked on uh, Agway, our local farm supply store. I've looked everywhere and the best price I could find was actually on PetSmart and it actually holds up to four to six chickens, which is what I need. And a lot of them would only hold, you know, to about three to four chickens, which is way too small. So I get home today and the box is sitting just like this. And I already knew what happened. They dropped it. It was completely opened. There was actually splinters, like wood splinters sticking inside the styrofoam. I'm so upset. This is just completely, there's parts missing out of it that's broken. It's a complete mess. The box is ripped up through here. This side is all right. There's a dent here where they dropped it. That's actually what it looks like. I went ahead and my husband and my son went ahead and put this up the other day. It's pretty big, isn't it? And we also, we had some left over too. So this initially was for Daphne to come out here and play, which it still is. Daphne can still come out here and play. Her football's actually over there. Uh, but what I think I'm gonna do with the chicken coop is I'm gonna put the chicken coop when I actually buy another one, I'm gonna put the chicken coop right through here. That way they'll have shade and protection here with the fencing. And then also in the chicken coop, they'll be closed in at certain, at night and stuff. And also Daphne can co also come out here and play when the chickens are in their coop. Or she could just play you know, on the fence. So I'm gonna train her to actually watch the chickens so she that i mean german shepherds are made for herding so i hope you guys like the i hope you guys like the fence there's also something else i want to the other day i came home and actually i didn't come home i i walked outside to let daphne out and i'm walking over to it right now Some... 
We got some mushrooms growing. Not morels though, unfortunately, which stinks. It's a lot of mushrooms though, isn't it? Isn't that kind of crazy? They just like sprouted out. But so I, I see all this wood laying here and from afar, over there by the driveway. I'm like, what the heck? Did someone actually come over here and get some wood from the <laughs> from the dead tree? <laughs> And, you know, I, I was just joking around about that. But my son said that he thinks it might have been the deer putting their antlers in there. Because the deer like to get the, when they're young, they like to get the fur off of their antlers. So we were thinking that might have been what it was. But look at that. I mean, it's like tore up. It was way in there. It's crazy, right? So just some, another weird thing that just happens around here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and upload this video. And uh, I got the other video from earlier with Daphne at the park. I got to finish this grass. We started mowing half of it yesterday. And uh, we still have all that to do. I have the front to do. It started raining. So I actually push mowed our front yard the other day and a little bit in the back because our riding lawnmower battery died out. So I'm going to go ahead and get on this and uh, hope you guys are having a great day. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe.